So has anything changed or improved in relation to your daily life with that since you yeah. since you went on carnival? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, and I should, I of all people should have known this really, but I was consuming carbohydrates while I had this bag, obviously, and I consumed all kinds of carbohydrates. Um, but I would say that vegetables, certain vegetables and fruits were still causing me problems because because of the nature of the surgery, the way they're having to fashion your small intestine and your ileum and that now turns this aggressive corner and it's like punching through your abdominal wall. That's where then you stick your bag over the top and that, that's how that works. Because of this corner, there's a lot of fibre um, in some of these plants that would obstruct me and get have trouble kind of travelling around this corner. And so I, I actually had a few obstructions. One with my partner in Venice, which was just strange timing, really. I had this kind of like rabbity side salad. It was all raw, so it was like celeriac, cabbage and carrots all grated up. Um, and that was just horrific. I, my whole <laughs> – it's like I was asleep, so I didn't even really realise, but it would obviously clog me up so much, so badly, that now things aren't moving at the end and my stomach was kind of like – folding over itself and I woke up with this very strange feeling and I looked down I almost couldn't recognize it went to the bathroom and um kind of like looked at the reflection in the mirror to try and figure out what, what the hell just happened and I had to almost pull my stomach back over the bag where it oh, kind wow. of because nothing was coming out yeah it was really strange it didn't hurt that much but it just felt really weird and I had to kind of almost pull my stomach up over the bag and I've never had a problem like that since but um yeah, when you eat nothing but meat, nothing like that ever happens. You, you could even swallow big chunks of meat and your acid in your stomach just takes care of it. It's absolutely no problem. So it's super non-inflammatory. It's all broken down effortlessly and it just causes no problems. I'm actually not aware when it works, where when I used to consume carbohydrates, you can you can pinpoint where your food is because you have these different sensations the way your abs would perhaps react. Um mm. And there were two other obstructions I had. One was brown rice and broccoli. I had the chicken and added salt, but it was the brown rice and the broccoli that almost like, again, same situation creates like this cement paste. It's so thick and and it doesn't break down. It's it's honestly just, it's a real issue. Fiber, I really believe, is a real issue for people's gut health, which mm. is the complete opposite of what the powers that be are telling us, you know, doctors and, and dietitians and the, the the amazing thing now is you can actually see the result. You can literally yes, yeah, see yeah. the result of fiber, what fiber is yeah. doing to to you and, and what yeah. meat oh, yeah. does or doesn't do to you, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's a really strange thing because when I um, when I came out, so what the bag, you can't see anything on the front. It's very kind of inoffensive. Mm. But you have this little inspection window, if you like, mm. And so you can see, and when you're emptying it, obviously you can see. In terms of the way things break down, this is the way I always try and explain it to people, that all of the animal products, when it's broken down, that that's kind of the poop, <laughs> if you like. Mm. And then all the plants you find in there, you actually find the plants intact. You know, if you, if you partially chew a mushroom and you swallow that mushroom, the same goes for pineapple, mango, celery, nuts, obviously. However you swallow that, that is exactly the state it's going to remain in all the way through your system. It just doesn't break down. Wow. I've had, yeah, I've, I've had pizzas with my partner on, you know, have a few drinks and then you're building up your appetite. You order a pizza and there's mushrooms on top. You're obviously, you know, <laughs> I don't know, getting carried away and just chunking it down kind of thing and probably swallowing some of these mushrooms. Well, I've had problems where I'm, I'm and I don't want to offend anyone, but I have to push above the stoma to push the mushroom out or something wow. like that the mango that yeah it's really bad so if you just swallow an, a whole nut that nut will come out like a nut the mushroom will come mm. out like a mushroom so will certain fruits if you just bit a strawberry in half you swallow the strawberry that half a strawberry you'll see that later that won't break down so first of all i'm like what do we get from that you know did, how are we digesting the nutrients in that i never i've always thought of that with seeds and things because the seeds, they're just there in the bag. You'd say, mm. It's really strange. It's like, did I get anything from that seed? I mean, I don't know how that works, but it certainly doesn't break down. So 
anyone who's got Crohn's and colitis, I would say absolutely should be compulsive about their carbohydrate intake. Be selective if you can. Um, definitely avoid things like that. You know, onion, celeriac, cabbage, celery, mushrooms, pineapples, strawberries, nuts, seeds. 